disaster. What's the disaster? The disaster is going to supposed to be going to Southampton, which is a fucking million miles from where I live, to do one spark plug thread repair in a XJR 1300. When I spoke to the guy on the phone, I checked to make sure I had the right spark plug thread insert. And it's partly my fault. When I was talking to him, I was saying FJR 1300, and he was nodding along and agreeing with me. So I looked up the plug for an FJR 1300, which is a CR9E, which is a 10mm 10 10 insert. I've got a fucking million of those, a big massive box full of them. It's not an FJR, it's an XJR, which is a 12mm plug, a DRATS some L something or other. I've got short reach ones, but I haven't got long reach ones. So anyway, it transpired this morning when I got the ta text back from the guy, he mentioned XJR in his text message. I was like, oh fuck, hang on a minute. Anyway, long story short, we haven't got the right insert. So now we're going to the local Honda dealer. I've spoken to a very nice man called Colin, who's got one long 10 mil, 10 by 1.25 time insert, spark plug thread insert for so that's where we're going. And Ben is behind the camera again, in case you hadn't realised. So that's that. Cool. Time cert. What does it look like? Just like that. Okay. We've got plenty of them, but mine are short reach. Which are so about half you basically depth. bore out the. You've seen it. Just, the, it makes the hole bigger, really. You're, you've seen the, the video on yeah, the right, thing already, yeah. haven't you? Yes. As it's been done, it's in a bad way, isn't it? The, the plug popped out when you were riding, did it? Yes. Okay. It hasn't dried out, has it? No, no, it's fine. It's just, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, it was still with injection fuel, wasn't it's it? It's buggered, isn't it? Right, fair dues. Yeah. So are you cutting then at the moment, are you? Yeah, this is the tap that opens the thread out. And again, how, how do you know that you're not sort of winding it in too far? Is there a stop? There's no stop. I mean, the only thing that's in there that could hit is a piston. So the piston's halfway down the bore, so you'd lose the tap inside the cylinder before you right, press okay. the top of the piston. And you can see, I mean, with some of them, I did a 600 RR a couple of months ago, and you're literally flying blind. You can't really see. It's right down right. You know, in, a, in, a, in a tunnel. Um, but with this, this is an easy one. Touch wood, because it can, you can just, you know, you can see down. You can see the tap. You can see what's going on. This is not a, theoretically, not a difficult one. You go all the way in. Can you see the thread of the tap? Look. I can zoom, just uh, just zoom. about. Zoom down let's, have there. A, let's have a look. Oh, too close. I need some other equipment. Need some, light. some light on the job. Look. Here you go. So you can see the tap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's a bit of the tap still showing. I'll go all the way in, 
until the thread of that tap has pretty much disappeared because I know the thread on the tap is longer than the thread on the plug so yeah, I know I've, I've poked out the bottom. That makes sense? Yep, cool. <coughs> I mentioned in the um you're still on I mentioned in yeah. the other video about not using do you remember not using grease on the tap? Yes. Bad idea, because then you get some grease stuck to the swarf. As you're tapping with grease, people say, Oh, you put grease on the tap and then the swarf will stick to the tap. But what happens then is if you get a little bit of the grease that drops in the cylinder with swarf stuck to it. It will stick inside the cylinder in and you can't blow it out then, yeah. Come down close here, Benji. Where's that? What's that torch? Got it? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's actually a lot more in there than I thought it was going to be. Turn this into a how-to. Bus. A bus. I'm going to because you know I love to. Um, that's the. So what you do next? I've done this in my other video, but it might be useful if you haven't seen the other spark plug repair video. That's the tap. So the two-stage tap, original spark plug thread size, and then this is the size it's been opened out to. Wind that all the way into the hole, and then this is the seat cutting tool. So what that does. So you wind it so this thread is inside the cylinder head, so it's disappeared. And then this tool comes down and it cuts a little, if you look, there's two cutting tips. The first one cuts a countersink for the insert, and then the second one cuts a, a new gasket surface for the spark plug. Yeah, it makes sense. That makes sense? Yeah. So again, is there any way that you can sort of overdo this, or have you just got to do, oh, it? do it in what way? Uh, can, how, how far? Because obviously you're cutting as well. How far in are you going to able to? No, I'm, I'm not using that yet. I'm putting this tap all the way. In. Uh, no, not really. You, yeah, I suppose. I mean, you could keep going and yeah, make the. You could just cut all the way down into the <laughs> into make, the bore, I suppose. You make the gasket um, seat for the plug to. What you do is as you as you're screwing this in. Initially, this first inner piece starts cutting the countersink for the insert, and then this second bit comes into contact with the cylinder head to cut the gasket surface. What you do is you keep lifting this out and looking. Right, okay. And you, you wait until you've just got a complete smooth surface for the spark plug sealing washer, and right. then you stop. So use your eyes. Yeah, use your eyes. And your it? common sense. Yeah. Fair enough. It's weird having somebody else pointing the camera. I haven't been in front of the camera for ages. Do I look older? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you look back at some of my first YouTube videos, you know. I, I was watching one of I was watching um, one of the. Do you remember when you had your old van? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're doing something there, you look like you're 20. <laughs> you look like a little boy. <laughs> okay. So, can you see that tap now? The thread is. Of the tap has disappeared into the yeah yeah so yeah. 
what I do now is I drop this tool over the top of that yeah check and then this tool is also the driver uh, it's got to go up through underneath that spring is also the driver for that cutter does that make sense yeah it does what's the spring for then um, the spring is don't know what the spring's for Okay. I think it, oh it holds that in position on top of the okay. on top of the what's it? Oh, hang on a minute, the spring has another use, doesn't it? Can't remember. I'm sure there's a reason for that spring. Anyway. Right. It's always a problem with doing it with bikes. Access for you know to be able yeah. to get your hands in and see it's always a plumbing pain in the ass. So what we do, let's get this tool out now and see what's going on in there. You see down in there, it's just started to cut the, yeah, yeah. the countersunk bit. Get in there. It's just started to cut the countersink for the for the um, insert to sit into. Yeah. The end of the insert, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep going and you'll see that... It'll, but you can put, see that there's a bit of dirt that's yeah, already been sort of started to be it scraped. Will, you'll see it'll, that the, you'll get a, a wide band of shininess where the spark plug is going to seat. Anyway, I'll keep cutting and you'll see. That spring is for, <laughs> I was thinking about that spring, that spring is for when it's down in a tunnel where you can't see, Yeah. Um, when you drop that tool down over the top of the tap, it lines it up on the centre of the jobby. Oh, I understand, yeah. Sense? The ideal scenario would be I'd be able to put the long bar through and just keep, and just keep going round and round, but I've got to use this little bit of extension bar, which makes it a bit harder to turn it, but we'll get there. Otherwise, I could use that long bar, but I'd have to take this off, and it just I'm just adding work. It also starts to feel different once it's cutted. Cut, cutted? Is that a word? Yeah. No. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> once it's cut. Once it's cutted, once it's cut the countersink for the insert, it feels different. It's easier to turn and a bit smoother to turn. So it's cutting the seat now for the spark plug ceiling washer. So I'm going to assume that there's going to have to be more blowy blowy in a minute. Yeah, there's going to be more blowy blowy. That sounds wrong, but, but you know I'm what I mean. There now. See how it started to cut the seat? Yeah. It's not quite... Let me get an airline. It's not quite this side here. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a nice clean seat, but if you look around the other side, it's not quite... Mm. This needs a tiny bit more. Get that there, look. Holds that on there. See what I mean? Oh, I see. So when the tap's in, you can just. Yeah, a final little bit of blowy blowy. Once this tap gets pulled out, that's the end of the cutting. Then one last little blow. getting that yeah so that bit there is the that's the new shiny bit the new shiny bit is the seat for the and then this see that that oh, see that sort of step down yes that's the countersink bit for the for the uh, insert let's give that one more blow that's what she said Right, so this insert, I've talked about this before in the previous video, but 
so it starts off in there and then gets tight because this is slightly tapered so that screws into the cylinder head and then this character this 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 raised piece here bottoms out on that seat that we cut and then this continues to be driven through a little bit of grease or oil on it just to help it on its way and it spreads the jobby into the what's it understood Well, look at you with your posh shot. That's quite good, isn't it? Good one, man. It's actually easier to look at the viewfinder of the camera than look down the hole at the job. <laughs> it's like having bionic eyes. So you can see the insert sort of twisting round as well, and then it suddenly comes to a stop. Yeah, it's stopped now, I should think. Yeah. So it's all the way, it's gone in as far as it'll go because it's, it's bottomed out on the little seat we cut for it and now this is there's a little bit of resistance on this this is spreading it's getting tighter this is spreading the insert the insert yeah. might turn a little bit more <coughs> this is spreading so the insert now... out into the into the cylinder head and it, and this is basically making it the right size for yeah, the spark plug yeah for the plug. spark plug exactly yeah A lot of sort of motorbike maintenance, maintenance things, which is kind of the was the original idea of the channel. I think on my Patreon it says something like demystifying motorcycle maintenance. A lot of this stuff you can actually do yourself, and it's just a question of confidence. And if you've done it before, you can. It's actually not that difficult. You've just got to be confident. So if you can watch me do it, or somebody else do it on YouTube, you think actually, you know what, I can have a go at that. Fork seals is a case in point, isn't it? Because all the views that Fork Seals videos had. So with this specifically, I mean obviously it's all well and good having confidence. What can go wrong? <laughs> the biggest thing that can go wrong is you don't get the engine in the right place, so you don't get it on the compression stroke. One of the valves is slightly open and you end up with swarf underneath the valve seat. Um, or you don't manage to blow all the swarf out and then when you start the engine, something gets stuck under one of the valve seats. And then you've got a leaky valve, you've got no compression, and it won't run properly. Right. And then the only the only way back from that is to take the cylinder head off. But you were going to have to take the head off anyway to do the spark plug thread. So it's kind of... Yeah, this is definitely the way to do a spark plug thread repair. Anybody that takes a cylinder head off to do it is doing it unnecessarily, in my opinion. There it is, mate. Job done. Like a new one. Ish. It looks dirty just because the the brass colour of the um, is a plating. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So it's as this has run through it, it's taken some of the plating off. Right. Okay. Have you got a new spark plug there? It's behind here, Jim. So you know when you've got a good thread because you can wind the spark plug in with your fingers yep. all the way till the gasket touches home. Right, okay. You know, it needs to be nice and tight, or, you know, not sloppy, but easy to screw in all the way till the gasket touches down, which it does. Do you want me to tighten this plug up for you as well? Yeah. Here we go. Good job. job I, jobs are good. I've bought one. So what made you want to bring Jim down here then, Brian? His professionalism and expertise. Thank you. Oh. What else? Well done, we'll, we'll pay you in a minute, all right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, purely, I've seen his work before. I've seen him do this, this job on YouTube before, a long time ago. But, uh, yeah. It's, um, it's got to be five years old now, that video, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've seen the second one. That's the only one I've seen. Yeah, there is only one. 
of the three yeah. thingy we can yeah. with this, yeah. But um, yeah, no, I mean the guy is totally professional. I'm not being paid. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean it's just it's just another testimony to, to how professional he is, you know, and committed to come all this way. Okay. How far did you come? 100 miles? Right. Yeah, it's probably about that. It's about 100 miles out, I think, yeah. From here, from here to the bridge is about 100 miles. Yeah. When I've gone to Wells or, you know, up it's that. about It's about the same. Yeah, it's about similar, yeah. isn't it? But, yeah. No, I mean, it's it's just nice to know that, you know, someone's got all the gear, you know, state-of-the-art equipment. A clean van you could eat your dinner off of. I mean, it's, you know, it just says a lot about the man himself, I think. So it's well worth it for me. Good stuff. Um, much appreciated, yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll pay you later, mate. How was that? <laughs>